Bila, 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 bila. Okay, microphone is on. <clears throat> so, it's a nice 9.44 a.m. Uh, you know, slightly slow start to my day, but otherwise, you know, I made sure I got myself a lot of sleep. I think I actually wound up sleeping for nine hours yesterday. And, yeah, I feel pretty good. I mean, crypto's down a little bit, not too bad. And I just watched Gregory Manorino over here. So, apparently, there's like a slight fear trade going on because, according to Greg, uh, Russia basically is about to invade, like, several Ukrainian cities. So, basically, uh, Ukraine's about to get, like, you know, owned by the Russians or something. So, basically, he's, uh, Greg said, you know, we'll see if a fear trade plays out. I actually think that's what it is, because I've been seeing this since yesterday, too, actually. All right, it didn't show up in the stock markets, but it definitely showed up in the crypto markets. And, of course, it's affecting Sphere a little bit, right? Right now, Sphere is still going strong, 3.1 cents. Very happy, right? Borat style. Uh, Titan was down a little bit, but recovered. Caesar also was down quite a bit, but it's up a little now because they did a buyback and burn, right? The usual thing. And, you know, Toon Forks are still kind of like wherever they're at, they're at. And, of course, High Point launched yesterday, so that was really, really nice, that whole fiasco. So I'm very, very happy right now. I'm very comfy. So... Uh, as I might have mentioned in yesterday's videos, I'm pretty sure I did. I, I said that I was watching Picky Finance and Phantom, which is what this is. Uh, okay, so this was actually not here yesterday. Okay, so an algorithmic stable coin on Phantom paid to the price of a fraction of one T-share. Okay, so it's basically still the same. So right off the bat, I was already attracted to the high APRs, but when I took a somewhat deeper look i already knew just by looking at this that like this is just a recipe for disaster but you know uh we haven't had any two forks in a while and it, from the way it looks we're not going to see a good one for quite some time right with the exception of printer financial of course uh, i know maker a peg maker is obviously you know under a lot of corrective corrections but you know they're coming out with some new stuff uh, we'll see what they do, and they said their turbo's coming out too, so I'm kind of curious to see, you know, what'll happen with that. And of course, I've been just pulling profits, doing a little bit of a compounding in the maker as well, but yeah, I pretty much got a lot of my money back, if not all of it, plus profit from maker, peg maker, so I'm not going to reveal my position in that, but, you know, I'm still going to stick with, stick with peg maker, because, let's see... I mean, it's still quite far above peg, right? I mean, it's not hard to, <laughs> to do 10% above phantom right as a peg uh it is getting down there but i mean it's pretty much bottoming out so far because this thing has corrected way too much right because remember we're in the middle of a corrective phase in the markets right because of you know paranoia about russia ukraine stuff and oh look at that crude oil is up again whoa oh, what a surprise right so you know it's just a lot of fud a lot of fear and so whatever you know it's just another day at the office all right so anyway uh when i was looking at the piggy finance and phantom uh this was about five dollars and 20 cents because it was at peg and then the p shares here was like two thousand dollars and i knew right off the bat just looking at the way they set this thing up it's like this is just so dumb uh so hope so that's why i even helped well aside from the fact that i was so exhausted yesterday and i had to like literally do like a million things and get videos out the same it's like geez i I mean, worked 13 hours yesterday, essentially, but I also have to help a family member out for, like, three hours, two and a half. It was, like, just, uh, I'm glad, like, today and then the next project, because there's actually a new tomb fork that I'm actually quite, uh, not excited, because you got to be careful about being emotional, especially as a man, but really, yeah, for anyone, but it, it looks very interesting. I mean, if I had more pride in Donald Trump, you know, I would really like the project. But, you know, we'll talk about that later because it's in Genesis right now. So I kind of want to just wait till like, tomorrow or, which is April Fool's Day, at least here in America, which is April 1st, or on Saturday for sure, because I actually want to wait for the, because I need to see what the liquidity pools look like. There's barely any info on, the, on it, so we'll wait on that. But, yeah. Uh... So anyway, I kind of was, oh man, well I'm recording, I completely forgot to set everything up for you guys. Uh, okay, so here's the T uh, piggy thing, here's the thing here. I think these guys are also on Yield Wolf already, because I remember I saw this project on Yield Wolf. 
that's how I actually found out because I just some I occasionally popped into like Discord for Yield Wolf in their announcements page and they always announce whenever they put a new pool on. So I gotta type in piggy here. Piggy piggy oink oink. Okay, so here we go. Uh, I'm gonna click this so we can get that. All right, so this is Piggy Finance on Yield Wolf for Phantom Piggy. Piggy Piggy Oink Oink. All right, so we got that. All right, so we'll, we'll use this because Yield Wolf actually tells you the real uh, APRs, daily APRs. So five points. So basically, six percent to twenty-eight percent. Yeah, this will look good. If I were you, I would still avoid the shares though, because because uh, you're, you're just gonna get destroyed. So anyway, this is pegged to T shares. So that's the tomb, uh, for, tomb finance shares itself, like the big cojones. Right off the bat, I already knew this was a stupid idea because if you've been following me for even a short period of time, I mean, Greg, Greg Manorino over here, right? <clears throat> we know that over time, cryptocurrencies are going to go up, and Phantom is still considered a you know top mainstream cryptocurrency. It's in, it's considered niche compared to the others. But, you know, it's still pretty far ahead of the pack, right? Think of them as like a congressman or a senator in the U.S. government. Obviously, not the top, top guy, quote-unquote, or top gal, but still very high up there. I mean, you're effing congressman slash senator, all right? You know, you're, you're one of 535 elite people in the world, or at least in America. Like, that's a, that's a, that's a very big deal. And this is number 45, funny enough, just like Trump's president presidential number so you're so you're even higher than normal okay so, so it's a big deal so now you're now you're pegging your little clown shit to to that so that means when that so when tomb when phantom goes up and tombs goes up and therefore tomb shares go up like it's going to be so much harder to keep maintain peg right so that off the bat right told me this a they still they're stupid I mean, I don't want to be too harsh to the piggy finance devs, but they don't know what they're... Like, I don't know why they did this. I mean, I guess they still have some kind of weird partnership with Harry E, but this is just dumb. All right? This is just dumb. And then, not surprisingly, they fall below peg, which happened late last night-ish, right? And I I was 99% sure that was going to happen. Again, that's another reason why I didn't cover the, this project yesterday, because I actually didn't want to tell you guys about this. Because I knew that this was going to go down, right? Very high probability. <clears throat> Especially those of you who want to do the shares, because I knew the shares were paying out like a hundred percent APR. Like you're you're not you're not you're not going to get that much because the price would just drop, and it did. It dropped ninety percent because that was my estimate, right? And then it's probably going to drop even further because look now look it just went down. So it's a death spiral loop again. It's it's just like uh, piggy fine probably on AVAX. They they still can't. I haven't checked in a long time, but I assume they still haven't, you know, fixed their problems. So this will continue to die, and I mean, I mean, we already have yield wall, so I, um, I guess we'll just open the farms. But they don't, they don't mention this, but it's mentioned in the documentations page, so I'll write it right here. Oh, actually, they do, right? Uh, okay. Um, I'm trying to see. Okay, I was able to highlight. It. There's 94.62 shares stake. What's the current epoch on this? I, yeah, because I can can't, you can barely see it if you look closely. I'm just trying to highlight this. Oh, oh the joys of uh, current epoch seven. Tiggy T piggy price twap point. Five, four. Oh yeah, that's right. There's no point because it's under, it's it's below, pe it's below peg, so it doesn't print anything. But uh, I don't remember anymore. But the point is, they wrote in the documentations page, but for some reason it's not here. But when you deposit your shares into here, they actually take like one percent of the shares, which will then be used to buy back piggy. That's like the only thing I like about this. Now, on Avalanche, they don't do that because they renounced the contract, so they can't make... See, that's kind of like the... So, in a way, as much as I love Yield Wolf, it actually is kind of like a trap, but not because, you know, there's anything wrong with yield, on Yield Wolf's end. It's because it's just a natural logic problem, right? 
you know, if you renounce, you can't change it. And if you can't change something, you cannot improve the code. And that's clearly what tomb forks really need. You need to be able to be like Titano and Sphere and whatever and be able to change code in the contract to make sure it's working. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. So, yeah. I like I still kind of want to invest in this project, but I'm just looking at this and I'm just like, no, this is just not a good idea. It's just not a good idea. And now that's finally below peg. I mean, I mean, well, let me see. How's Avalanche doing? Uh, P share chart fifty four dollars. Avax fifty four point forty one. So I might be okay with something like this, right? Because piggy finance on AVAX. So after all this time, of course, they're still below peg. What a surprise. Something does seem off with this. What happened to all the... What happened to all the piggy... Peg tokens? Didn't this... There's no way this... What? Did they change something here? Uh, okay. Well, anyway, I was more interested in... What? The piggy, sh okay, there's obviously something off with this because, okay, what what is going on here? I gotta switch networks. Uh, switch to Avalanche, yes. <clears throat> the farm, pigsty, piggy and P bond, earn P shares by staking piggy and P bond. So they're doing debt protocol, never a good sign. Or P share by staking LP. Yeah, so maybe it's actually a display error because this doesn't make sense at all. Yeah, there you go. 541k. 0.74%. So really crappy APR. P shares. The good news is that at least they finally figured out to do smart APR system, but fortunately it's kind of too late. Okay. And 1.5. Yeah, these APRs are just awful. Just awful. There's something off with the front page because this is clearly not correct. Yeah, I don't know what's up with this. But with that being said, they're obviously trying to do something and there's still quite a little bit of money locked in here. But this is the thing I'm really looking at. $54 for their pig shares. I mean, I'm just going to take it at face value. <clears throat> All right. So right now it looks like uh, Phantom P shares are also going up a little bit too, but this has gone down. Yeah, I mean, this thing just went down 90%. So there's obviously going to be some dip buyers and like, you know, a correct, like about, it doesn't go straight down. It has to bounce back, dead cat bounce, basically. So I'm going to let this settle out. So I don't know, maybe in the future I'll check this out. But to be honest, I'm just going to buy more hamster, uh, hamster peg tokens and put that in, and compound my yield wolf. Because it looks like they're actually coming out with their game. So that's actually a big deal. And then code seven will eventually pop back up. Once they actually acquire real estate, that's really what everyone's waiting on, uh, you know, including me. Because at the end of the day, people can say whatever, but how many people actually do it, right? It's kind of like what Nate St. Nick said at AFPAC, right? A lot of people can complain about a problem, but very few of them. He was actually referring to Stu Peters <laughs> indirectly for that really bad speech he gave. But, you know, he was referring to, you know, that. And anyway, but he was saying, yeah, it's easy to complain about a problem, but only a couple of people will actually do something about it. And I want to be one of those couple of people, right? I mean, that's hot. That's why I got as far as I did. I had no connections. I didn't know anybody. And I, in a way, I really just didn't care to because, remember, I used to be a background actor in Hollywood, right? Everybody always thinks it's who you know, who you know, and who you know. And technically, that's true, especially in the acting business. Or movie business, right? Show business. But it just never, it always just was weird to me because it's just losers associating with other losers. And then you get nothing done because you're all losers, right? You know, you're the no talent background actors, right? No one cares about you. So what mat what does matter? Oh, your talent and ability. So it's not who you know, but what you know. And that's what I've always tried to strive for. And clearly it works, right? I mean, you're here, aren't you? 
I've had a few of you tell me that you've been making a crap load of money off of my videos, which I'm very happy about. You know, that's exactly why I do what I do, right? If you're making money, then that probably means I'll be making money too because I look at the projects, I pick out what I think is the best for me personally and is compatible with my, you know, lifestyle and investing style, and I make money. So I know if I make money, which I obviously have been, especially because I lost almost everything in December and now I've been bad, and now I'm more or less back, right? <clears throat> then that means a lot of you with like at least half a functioning IQ of a brain will also be making a shit ton of money, right? All for free, right? You know, and now that I have my monetization on YouTube, I'm actually kind of excited to see like this channel actually makes a lot of money off of YouTube ads. I'm actually kind of surprised, which means I better behave, right? Because, you know, I'm going to be using this to eventually buy crypto, but first just pay my bills because my monthly rent. In fact, my monthly expenses are actually going up. I mean, I, don't, I mean, that's part of the reason why I had to run around yesterday a lot. So, you know, I had to deal with that. <clears throat> But yeah, I'm going to be spending like 20, because I got myself down to like 2,500 a month. Now I'm back at like 2,800. I'll probably be hitting 3K a month again. I mean, it's a lot of effing money, you know, it's a lot of effing money. Uh, so aside from that, I mean, technically this uses the smart APR system because they're overweighting the uh, rewards, share rewards, right? So you can see it here. I don't even know what this P team is. But with that being said, I think this... I don't know what P-Team is. So it says deposit P-Team and you earn P-Shares. But you can see right here, and they didn't even put an APR on it. You can see that this is basically 50. This is not using smart APR system. Yeah, unless I'm told otherwise, this thing does not help the peg, which is T-Piggy. So they're still making the same mistakes. Ah, oh, God, I can't stand this. I can't stand this. You know, I'm definitely going to pump out maybe over the weekend after... I'll tell you the name of the project that I think is led by Brando. Let me see. Just, just in case you want to... Because it's still under Genesis, but there's a 1% pool fee. So you probably have to wait anyway. But after I make this video, so either tomorrow or Saturday, right? <clears throat> yeah, because tomorrow is Friday. Saturday is April 2nd. I'll do this video. And then maybe on a Sunday, because, you know, I really want to take a break, but... I'm okay with just doing one video a day, and then I'll take a couple days off, because I really just need some rest. All right. Oh, yeah. I'll leave it there for you a little bit. So this is obviously a Donald Trump-themed thing, and they do have pretty hilarious things. I mean, my camera's covering it, but yeah. The farm is the Congress, <laughs> oink, oink, and the White House is the boardroom. <laughs> so I really like the theme of this project, but um, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll obviously cover it. Oh, and time. Yeah, this thing's already going back down. Yeah, so I'm personally going to stay away from piggy finance because everything just looks bad, right? The tokenomics is completely screwed. I don't think they renounced the contracts yet. So they could make changes, which is great, but it's clearly obvious that they don't know what they're doing. So, and they never reached out to me. So, all right, well, I mean, uh, if, if, well, enjoy prices going down further, I guess. But with that being said, I still kind of want to try this eventually when it does settle down because this is pretty nice and it is on Yield Wolf, right? And I'm, right now I am averaging about 3 to 3.5%, three maybe a little less than that. I'm just giving you an average on Yield Wolf right now because I still have my Code 7 position. I still have my Apex uh, Finance position. They actually followed me on Twitter, so that was kind of nice. I thought they wanted to DM me, but I didn't, have, I didn't hear anything from them. Uh, which is fine. And I have my hamster uh, money uh, position. And that's all I really have on Yield Wolf. I don't have anything on AVAX anymore because of the Krabata game fees constantly congesting the network. And they delayed the Swimmer launch too. So AVAX, elevated AVAX fees are going to be here until at least May. Like the like the middle of May. They said early May they'll move. <sighs> I, I can't stand Krabata game, man. The, 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 that, that fucking game is just... Ugh. So get used to paying a lot in AVAX fees, just 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 so you know. Uh, six point six. I mean, I'll write. You know what? I'll write seven percent to twenty nine percent daily APR if you want to try this out. I think you're crazy to do it if you want to do it, but you know the options there. I'm staying away. I'm gonna wait for. I specifically need to see where T Piggy and P Shares will ultimately settle down in terms of price, and then I'll go in. Basically, I want to try to buy in at the bottom. I mean, I mean, I'm just buying it at all. I mean, again, 
why would should I, why would I do something like this when I could just buy more code seven apex or even hamster, right? Cause right now tonight I'm actually going to buy some hamster. It sucks because I want to buy more libero, but I mean, I got, I'm like, you can't put all your eggs in one basket, but you know, I want to increase cause I've been actually making a lot of money off of like, even though all these tune forks that I'm in have gone down a lot in price, I've actually been pulling a really good income from it. So I'm like, you know what? You know, I better, uh, I better up my bag because I kind of already know that the prices have already been s s slammed already, and it's still here. Also, today's a fear trade, right? That's why crypto is also down. So that means if I need to buy, today's a good time to buy because everything is on uh, going a l basically. It's a little there's a sale going on in like equities, bonds, and cryptocurrencies. So yeah. All right, anyway, check out Piggy Finance if you are uh, psychotic, all right, or you're a very high-flying, degenerate, uh, high-risk person. Even for me, that's too much, and I love high-risk, high-degenerate plays. But hey, that's why uh, we're here. So, you know, I'll obviously observe this. If I forget about it, then I forget about it. There'll be plenty of other projects. And in fact, you know, I'll be eyeing America money. But of course, I have to wait for the LPs to come out so I can try to, like, I mean, if it's really run by Brando, it should have the smart APR system because he came up with the, he actually came up with it way before I did, but he didn't tell nobody. So I imagine he can't, I mean, it's, and it's also pretty obvious he's like a right wing guy like me, but I think he's much more aggressive about it. You know, I want people to like me. All right. But I mean, if I have to take a hardline stance, yeah, of course I got no problem with that, but. You know, I'm not doing really anything crazy political anyway, so it's like, yeah, whatever. It's like, yeah, just come in. Just, just don't be bashing Chinese people, because that will actually set me off. Not emotionally or angry, but because I know you're just a retarded asshole, all right? And then, of course, I have... I mean, there's a reason why I carry a bat with me nowadays. I don't wear body armor. Actually, have I ever shown you the body armor? That is I'll show you what it is. And then we'll end the video. So... So I had my choice of white or black. All right, this is my body armor. So I had my choice of white or black, but the problem is if I bought black, I, you know, I'm thinking like, you know, people are, when people are shooting or whatever I use, usually they be in so-called self-defense, at least here in America. So if I had, was wearing black, they might be like, oh, it's a black guy. And then they just shoot you up. So that's why I have white, right? Because it makes people less likely to shoot me, I think. So, yeah, this is the thing. It's an armor plate car. Well, it's not armor plate car. This thing is actually heavy. It doesn't look heavy, but it actually is heavy. And then, I mean, I can put it on, but. Uh, but yeah, look. Uh, I bought a large so you could see me, right? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's my safeguard clothing. I mean, this costed me $480, and I don't even wear it. But that's because I'm too fat and unhealthy to wear it. Is it that? Because I actually can feel exhausted just putting it on for a brief moment. So I gotta like lose more weight so I can build more body muscle and then maybe I can eventually wear it. And of course it's designed to be worn underneath clothing so people can't uh, notice it. So 480 bucks down the drain because I am Asian and people want to kill, kill us here. So just, well, you know, what are you going to do? So, anyway, uh, so yeah, that's it. I am done for the day unless something crazy really happens because I'm, I, I want, I basically want to take between now and next week off, but, you know, I'm pretty sure there'll be projects popping up here and there, so. Let's see, what's on my content queue? We got America Money, which I showed you, but we're wait, I'm waiting on the LP farm. And then add a smart APR system for Team Fort devs, right? So I gotta make that video too. So, so yeah, I'm gonna try to slow down the th uh, the projects for a little bit, just so I can recover, and then you know whatever. Anyway, uh, see you. I think maybe tomorrow. I'm not sure, right? But it, tomorrow or so six. Now this thing is going all over the place. So I'll write six to twenty eight percent, whatever. So I'll see you either tomorrow or definitely by Saturday, um, because I don't know when the I don't, because the Genesis ends tomorrow, but then there was a little bit of a weird wording, like the LP farms won't be live until that. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, I guess we'll make this a thumbnail, I guess. Yeah. 
Thanks, and see you tomorrow or Saturday, or if something crazy happens in the before then. Thanks. Oh, like, subscribe, share. Thank you to all the new people coming in. We're growing like crazy, and that's how I like it. And yeah, I mean, sky's the limit, right? You know, we stick together, we create this community, and we're all going to make a lot of money. And then when hyperinflation hits, you know, at least we'll be able to afford gas and food and whatever. And, and then I guess in case of us, you know, redneck Americans, you know, we'll have to buy guns and ammo too because, you know, we're all about the guns here. Well, I'm not, but people are. So, yeah. Fun times we live in, isn't it? Fun, fun, fun times. Fun times. Oh, I know I keep saying I'm going to go, but there is one last thing. I'll just put this out here. I won't, I won't tweet it out real quick, but I was reading, uh, you know, my daily, my Andre Wang stuff. You just go on my Twitter over here, but this there is apparently this very um, popular Indian host. He's actually in India because I, I I couldn't figure out where he was because he cause he actually is quite free speech. So he brings in all sorts of like crazy people with different points of view, and he makes his own bias clear. But he's actually quite fair, and they they all just yell at each other. So and it's like this is a clip of him yelling at our shitty like you know neocon Americans that are stupid enough to actually go on a real free speech show and then he, they just, he, he just the indian guy just grills him it's like you evil americans you you're you are using exploiting ukraine just to make billions of dollars you evil evil effing people you he doesn't curse i think but <laughs> you get the idea so you want some of that real inner political entertainment from like an actual like non-american source this is a really good uh this indian guy is actually really cool <laughs> hilarious so you can check that out real quick. So yeah, the new world order is definitely falling for the West, and that's a good thing, right? Because you know, getting sick and tired of dealing with Satan. I'm sure some of you are too. See you tomorrow or Saturday. Thanks.